This trial is about nuts and sluts and gagging. This was very much what I'd call a nuts and sluts defense. She's a potty girl with a bad habit, a bad habit for drugs. She's a slut and she knows it. And nevertheless, we have a horrible gag order that shouldn't be allowed. Has never been on. Nothing like this has ever happened. What you're witnessing is a first. There was a portion of the cross-examination where Susan Necklace was focused on the fact that Stormy Daniels now claims that she is a medium and that she communicates with dead people. I see dead people. And has participated in a TV store, uh, TV series about the paranormal. I've been saying it. I've been saying it for 10 damn years. Ain't I been saying it, Miguel? Where she explores things, including the fact that at one point, an ex-boyfriend of hers was inhabited by spirits. I'm sorry, what was that? She was mocking Stormy Daniels. She wants the jury to think Stormy Daniels is a liar and she is crazy. This whole trial seems to be a trial about mocking Donald Trump. Donald Trump spent years and years mocking the left, making fun of their their golden calves like Hillary Clinton to her face. And they don't know how to make a comeback. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account- Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. No. The left doesn't know what comedy is. They don't know what a joke is. They get triggered on everything they possibly can. So they're doing everything they can in order to mock Donald Trump. I'm starting to believe this entire trial is based on their hope that at the end of the day, when you go to choose between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, in your eyes, they hope you remember Donald Trump maybe has a small penis or maybe we are very simple people with very small penis. The way he likes to have sex, he likes to be spanked with the newspaper. Ooh, isn't that crazy? Someone should take that magazine and spank you with it. Spank you, Greenwall. Spank you very much. <laughs> That's crazy. Versus a guy that they're trying to paint as some good moral standing human being. I mean, you hear that from the left over and over again. Joe Biden, you're just such a good guy. You're a decent guy. Regardless of his entire history of constantly being a pathological liar, just lying after lying after lying. You aren't a, a 18 wheeler truck driver, Joe Biden. You didn't grow up in a Puerto Rican family. You're not a civil rights genius. Like there is lie after lie. I mean, they want you to forget the fact that he had to stop running for a political position because he lied so much. He got embarrassed by the media and now the media is all out and for him. They're trying to paint him out to be like this decent human being. Just look at his family. Um, so this trial seems like a trial with their hopes of keeping Donald Trump's mouth shut for the remainder of the summer, with Donald Trump only having a few months to campaign and go out and speak, while Joe Biden's going around talking about how women can have abortions all the way up into birth, he doesn't care what does the government have to do with a woman's body, which is such a stupid idea anyways, this idea that the government can't tell a human being that they're not allowed to kill a human being, I thought that's the entire point of the government is for safe, whatever. But <laughs> this trial is a joke. And it's ridiculous. And it's like they hope that there are memes that are created from this trial. They hope that there is comedy skits created by this trial because they don't want to actually engage in anything Donald Trump has to say logically when it comes to the border or the economy or World War III or anything like that. They just hope that Donald Trump is painted out to be some kind of crazy, wild, sex symbol, just over the top, a uh, playboy who can do whatever he wants versus a guy who is just down to earth, a good human being, and nobody's falling for it. And nobody is even caring about this case. And so the only damage that is actually being done in my eyes is the fact that they are keeping Donald Trump's mouth shut with this gag order. And that is a huge problem, especially in an election year. And uh, with Donald Trump only... The only visualization people are getting of Donald Trump is him coming out of the courthouse and talking. And so that is, that's a big deal. I think that's a huge deal. Will it affect the election? Probably. And I think that's what they hope. Uh, but could it affect Donald Trump not winning? I'm not totally sure. Probably not. I think Biden has done enough damage in this country that people don't give a crap anymore. They're not, they might not be voting for Donald Trump, 
but they won't vote for Biden. And so I just, they, and they know that and they're freaking out about that. You're seeing James Carvel freaking out about that right now. You're watching CNN poll after CNN poll freaking out about the fact that people are not going to vote for Biden in this upcoming election because they don't like the state of the country. And Biden continues to make things worse after worse. Even with him not uh, sending weapons and stuff to Israel, which is the same thing that got Donald Trump impeached uh, with not sending weapons to Ukraine. So let me know your thoughts on all this stuff. I hope you have a wonderful day. And yes, I am a horse girl. And yes, I'm in an Airbnb that's beautiful and wonderful and I'm doxing myself. <laughs> Try that in a small town. <laughs> That's all I can think about when I see these horses. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm fully back in, in my home studio desk situation um, tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> uh, yeah, bye-bye.